Okay, here we are playing uh, the Samus Lee song, um, Shout Out Loud, which I'll send you the MP3 of. He's got this intro thing he does that has more downstrokes that we just kind of, we don't want to even really listen to because it's a little bit distracting. We're going for what I call chopping wood, just down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, one and two and three and four, and which during the lesson I'd equate it to if you are playing tambourine or a shaker, the type of sound you're making. Anyway, here's us. Browse an empty window. Jakey, 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 jakey. And only half the lights are out. And that's our part, and here's me doing it. So our, um, we've got our open strum on the very last strum, and your ring finger will need to remain there, though. Okay. So I'm going the last two strums, zero down on. There's this right there. Yeah. Um, it would, I would be hard pressed to go that fast. Um, cool. So yeah, just, you know, again, it's like, you can do this really slowly and still succeed, which seems counterintuitive because we're like, I'm a hidden, you know, but I can go and hit all the strings, you yeah. know. So it's just the movement, uh, the range of motions, what imp what's important. Your subconscious is going to want to correct by using more attack, by swinging harder. We're looking for nice, it's like golf, which I suck at, but how you don't, you know, hit the ball successfully by hitting it hard. It's yeah. just it's a similar situation. I've never made that analogy before. Um, cool, so there we are. Um, your starting tempo. So at home, try to really just use your ear. Don't count. Don't tap your foot. Just, you know, chop wood, resign to, oh, this is going to be not fun. Um, yeah. And get really sick good at this. So two minutes into your video, I've started the chorus, um, which I'll make a note of on your page uh, and in your email probably, where we switch to another super common rhythm, uh, which is dum dum jig jiggy jiggy dum jiggy jiggy. Lots of rhythms start with that. And then various stuff happens after it. Here we're going jiggy jiggy at the end, which is all going chicka chicka. It's always going to be down up down up. So we're going down 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 up down up down down up down up. And you had an easy time doing the first thing. Anyway, there we go. So just let's go for one time through that here. Yeah. And I'd even leave mm -hmm. out the last four strums a few times. That's what I was trying to get you to do during the lesson is just go. Stop, reset, repeat. And then adding those last four strums after the fact will be considerably easier than trying to do it all in one shot um, for whatever reason with this rhythm. That's what seems to be the case. So yeah, we're going. Or is it twice as long now? So now our change is right in the middle of the measure. Um, we switch to G. That's what we're doing. So it's and so just writing out on your page one. Two, three, four, and one and two. So our open strums there, and we end up on G on B two. Okay. One, two, three, four, and one and two. sounding like that, that's a reasonable goal as opposed to and what I'm doing sounds more nuanced because I've been doing this since I was eight or whatever. Alright, so there we are.